I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. I'm taking a minute and stopping up to Rags and Holman, seeing what we got going on with the 52 Ford. Head inside. You having fun yet? Yeah. <laughs> that was not convincing. I love I'm it. just going to say. I love I've been it. inhaling a lot of blue today. Yeah? You, it, yeah? So, so Chad's not with us, really. Okay. Here, You're euphoric. <laughs> <laughs> You're euphoric. <laughs> Let's go inside and check things out. Something's back. Hey everybody, Chris with Legendary Customs, based all across Wisconsin. Thank you for tuning in. The 1952 F1 is coming along nicely. We just got it back from rags. Literally, the only thing that we have left to do is put in the window regulators, the part to make things go up and down, and some weather stripping, and then put 150, 200 miles on it, and make sure that we do the shakedown before we send it off to Chris and Jody. Now, I need your help. The name of this thing, how do you think about the Don? Now, remember, we started this thing because of family memories. Chris's dad's name is Don. Thus, he's Italian, the Don, like in The Godfather. Perfect, comment down below. Anyway, I wanna show you the inside. Chris and Jody wanted simple. So we did simple and elegant. 
These bucket seats are original to the 1950 era that came in these delivery trucks. And that's all these were for, were delivery vehicles. This one tilts forward, not enough to get in. The other one, the passenger, the whole seat tips forward. And then the kids and the mother-in-law, I wish I knew her name because saying that doesn't sound right, but they can sit in the back and enjoy things. Let me turn on the LED lights. It's very bright in there. Very, it's awesome. Now we're gonna go in the back. Chris wanted this to be a functional vehicle. Okay, so how we mounted the back seat is there's plenty of space underneath it so you can put boards and stuff in, whatever. Plenty of room for cargo and then of course that seat, if you go backwards, you can see that that seat just lifts right out. Battery underneath there, radio antenna right there. It's not on the outside being all ugly, but this is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Nice light interior. Doesn't feel dark and dingy in there. Now, if you've been paying attention to the F1 build, you know it's coming to an end. What are we starting? Come over here. 1966 GTO. Now, you don't see too many of these around anymore. Beautiful vehicle, coming a long way. All I'm gonna say is if you're interested in a 1966 GTO build, Go to our YouTube channel, hit episode one, and go forward. We appreciate each and every one of you tuning in. Comment down below, and please remember to follow us on our Instagram, our Facebook, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Very much appreciated. We're out of here.